So let me provide you a little bit of information on who Advisor 360 is. Uh, so we're a fintech platform, specifically we're wealth tech. And really what that is, it means we build software for the financial services industry, or in our case, wealth management. So what does that actually mean? Is that to make it more real, we'll, we sell software for financial advisors. So these are the individuals that are paid to provide financial advice. So it's for financial advisors. It's for their end clients, the investors. So folks like you and I that would go to a financial advisor uh, to figure out what mutual funds we buy or stocks, so on and so forth. And then it's a firms that they work for. So we call those broker dealers. So it's really the complete package. Uh, we've technically been around for 20 years. Uh, we were a spinoff from uh, Commonwealth Financial Services, uh, CFN, uh, based in Waltham, Massachusetts. Uh, they built this platform for themselves. So we were technically uh, an IT shop within a broker dealer um, and the software was so well received. It's so rich from a functionality standpoint. Uh, they decided to spin it off and start it up as a separate software company. All right, so let me just give you um, a little bit of insight in terms of how my organization engineering is structured within Advisor 360. So Advisor 360 is about just over 550 people. Um, engineering is over 300 of that. So three fifths of the organization is engineering. Um, and really has, how I have that split up is 80% of my group are essentially building the product. So whether they're software engineers or QA folks or architects, that's about 80% of my organization. The other 20% is data management. So a lot of what we do is provide high quality data for our clients. Uh, I'll sort of put that to the side, although that's a key area that we're working for. But on the engineering piece, uh, we, I've always had, and I've, uh, I've seen this, so this is one of the reasons why we wanted to join A360 in this particular role, is I've been in, in jobs where I've been pigeonholed before. My job is to give people the opportunity to move where they want to. Um, so we do, we do follow Scrum and Agile processes, I'd say small A or small S on those, uh, because we do what we think is right. And so we do have team-based approaches um, and the teams are cross-disciplinary. We do have a front-end team where uh, from a reporting standpoint, they report into a particular director uh, distributed across the organization. But for the most part, we work in, in a, a team-based based model. So people can learn different parts of the platform. They can learn different skills and they have the opportunity to move around. Uh, let me provide with a little bit of insight in terms of the tech stack. Uh, I mentioned we've been around for 20 years, so we have a lot of stuff that was built up over time. That's not uncommon is to have some, some what we call in the industry legacy code. Uh, if you asked me three years ago, I'd, I'd say classically, I'd classify ourselves as a .NET shop. Uh, so kind of soup to nuts, we've been working with Microsoft technologies. That's really the foundation behind what our product is built on. Uh, we're because of the, the nature of the industry that we're in, data is a big component for us. Uh, but we've been investing in new technologies over the past three years. Uh, and my philosophy as, as CTO is to use the right technology to do the job. As an engineer, I don't want to just work with old stuff. That's part of the excitement of being in tech is that things change all the time. And I want to be part of it. And I know the engineers, the type of engineers they want to hire are really interested in working with the latest and greatest technology. So my job is to open that up. Uh, we use Python in a number of areas. So that's something that was introduced over the last couple of years, primarily around uh, data in our service layer. Uh, we also built our own home grade, homegrown automated test harness um, using Python. Uh, so I do not want people spending time executing manual tests to make sure our product works. Um, I want to make sure we write automated test uh, scripts to do that. Um, we built out our own uh, test harness to do that. That's plugged into a bunch of cool tools to actually report on that. So it's, it's awesome. Um, again, uh, I approach things as an engineer would. I don't want to do things over and over myself. I want to spend time building product and not just being, uh, being a tester of the application. Um, the other things we're looking at, so doing a bunch around Kubernetes, 
uh, Kafka. We are doing development um, in some cases in, in Docker, some areas of the application are using Dockers for our development. Um, and from a front end, front end's a big part of what we do, uh, that's, that's Angular. But we also have a mobile, uh, mobile part of our platform. So it's iPhone and Android uh, devices. So, so my goal uh, is to really rebuild the core of platform. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we went from a product that was built for one cu customer as part of an internal uh, development group for a broker dealer. We're now building enterprise grade SaaS software. And so with that, we have to look at how our software scales and how we build that and the technologies that we use. Uh, one of the things, in, in our industry, uh, and so I'll talk about something that's a really cool, cool project that we did uh, is for digital onboarding or account opening. A real problem in financial services is as financial advisors bring clients onto their platform, how do they open the accounts that they want to use and how do they fund the accounts and transfer funds? Seems like a pretty monotonous thing, but it's actually very problematic for our clients. Something that really has not been solved well in the industry. Part of the challenge is each of our clients has unique sets of requirements for this. And this is not just simple sort of configuration driven changes. They have actually have different requirements, different workflows that require different sets of documents in order to open accounts. And so trying to get away from this customization approach that many software development firms uh, bring in to solve these types of problems, we actually built our own low code generation tool. And so really what that allows us to do is we can actually feed in uh, the requirements for what the users want around this account opening digital onboarding process. They can feed it in in a spreadsheet. We generate the code and then we actually build end to end processing around the digital onboarding uh, workflows. Uh, this uses straight through processing. So lots of in the past manual intervention, that users would have to go in to make sure stuff worked. We're able to actually get that out of the process uh, by what we built here. And, and this is to me is, is the most uh, important part of this is that we're using great engineering practices. We're bringing creativity to the table. I think engineers at the end of the day are creative folks uh, to deliver business value. Our clients, our customers, uh, I don't wanna say they don't care about how we did it, but essentially they wanna see the results. But for the folks that worked on this project, it's a real, uh, it's a real sense of value and pride that they have for bringing a really unique way to solve a problem to the table. So the interview process starts with the basic phone screen. And what we want to do is make sure that we understand you as the candidate a little bit better, uh, put a name you know, and a face to, to uh, the resume that we get, give you a better understanding of who A360 is. To my belief that it's, it's important for you to feel comfortable who you're coming into as an organization as we are. So we want you to know inside and out. Um, then we schedule uh, interviews. We try to really limit the rounds of interviews we do. Uh, so we'll introduce you to members of the engineering team. Uh, that, the interesting thing that we try to do is also give you a sense of the different types of work that we're doing. Um, so we'll have you meet both uh, you know, individual contributors that are working on the teams as well as managers. Um, we do engage you with a short sort of a coding design exercise. It doesn't require any uh, prep preparation on your part. It really gives us a sense of really what the skills that you have to bring to the table. Uh, for more senior roles, it's a little bit more extensive. Um, I generally meet uh, everybody on my team that's a manager or above. Um, and again, it's not, it's for the most part, it's for you to get to know me, uh, how I approach running an IT organization, what our mission is, our goals, where we're going to be, how we're going to grow. Um, so I think it's a good opportunity for me to understand you a little bit better. Uh, the key thing that we want to do is make sure there's a good fit. So, so culture wise, that's an interesting question. Um, and it's really tough just to put some particular words about it. Um, and, you know, we're a startup. So our culture is developing. And at the end of the day, the culture is influenced by the people that we hire. So we try to hire people that really love engineering. They love business problems. Um, I'm, I'm going to just probably cover what we look at from 
from our core values. And the reason why I call them the core values is that we think they're central to every person in the organization who's gonna be su successful. So one is that we lean in. And really what that meant, means is that we want people that are not gonna sit there on the sidelines. They're gonna get in the ring, they're going to get their hands dirty, they're gonna do what they need to to grow the business. Um, and, and for us, it's great that we're growing the business and delivering to our customers. And for you personally, there's a ton to learn. And so the more that you wanna lean in and help out, then I think the more uh, productive that your time at Advisor 360 will be. Uh, we're innovators. So we want people thinking, I mentioned around digital onboarding, we want people thinking and being creative around how we wanna solve problems and how we wanna build a great product. We're client obsessed. I've already talked about you know, our clients quite a bit. Uh, we want everyone thinking about our clients because at the end of the day, those, those are the folks that we're building to. And even whether our client is the broker dealer or the financial advisor or the end investor, we're talking that the stuff that we build are, are, are impacting thousands and thousands of, of families uh, in, in the US. And the last to me is probably just as important as the other ones is that we're builders. We're builders who wanna have fun. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm looking for engineers. I'm looking for people to build stuff. My job is to get rid of all the, the stuff around the side so people can do what they enjoy, which is, which is creating things that people use. So, so why now? So it's a competitive market um, and there's, we're just coming out of the, the global pandemic which has created a unique set of challenges and interesting situations for, for many people. So why join Advisor 360 now? So I've already talked about some of the things in terms of the product is great. We have, a, we have something that people are willing to buy. We have a large pipeline of opportunity. Uh, I am in the growth business. So one thing that you will not hear from me is, oh, our job is, is just to maintain, is an efficiency and cutting down. I want people that are gonna build new stuff for our clients. Uh, we are in growth mode. Uh, from the opportunity standpoint, uh, the industry that we're trying to serve has, uh, has a reputation of not developing always the best products in, in being true engineering organizations. So our clients are looking for us to do that. There's more and more of a trend to look at software companies to actually provide key capabilities uh, for, for the technology platform. That's something that we, we're, we're slated to do. We have a great team, um, so very excited about the folks. You, know, you have an opportunity to influence the organization. We talked about culture, you have the opportunity to influence the culture. Uh, but the, the, the bottom line, why join A360? Why join A360 now? Um, it's the chance to create something great. Um, as I mentioned, the, uh, the, the startup, but not a startup startup, uh, there's so much opportunity for you to come in and contribute to what I see as a great company. Uh, but the, uh, the non-startup piece is that we, we have customers, we're profitable, we have uh, financially very, very stable. Um, so you have the opportunity to, to get involved in a startup at the early stage, but not maybe take some of the risks associated with traditional startups. Thank you.